Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to log into your computer without having to type in a password. So doing this doesn't get rid of your password, it just makes it so your computer will put it in there for you and you don't have to type it in when you log in. So in order to do that, uh, you need to go to the old-fashioned uh, user uh, management tool. So you want to just click on start and start typing in NEP, NET, PLWIZ, net PLWIZ, it's a run command there. And that'll bring up the user accounts here, and you'll see all your user accounts. So then you want to pick the account that you want to log into your password with. So this one here is Todd Sims. So that's here. So what we need to do would be to check a box that would say um, that user did not need to log in their computer with the password, but you'll notice it's missing here. So in order to get that back, we need to change something in the Windows settings. So to do that, we go to our settings. Accounts, sign-in options, and then there's a section here for improved security, only allow Windows Hello sign-in for Microsoft accounts on this device. Turn that off, and then we go back and run that command again. And now you can see we have this checkbox here, so we want to get back to that same Todd user here. Uncheck this box, click Apply. Now you'll need to know the password for this user account to, to have it stored. Type it in there twice. And then click OK. Now, the one catch to this, if you have multiple users, this user, since it's uh, set to log in without a password, it's going to log in automatically when you turn on the computer. It's not going to prompt you for uh, to pick a user account. So if that happens and you need to use a different account, you'll have to let it log in and then go back in, you know, click here and then pick a different user or log this guy out and pick a different user to use one of your other user accounts. So let's see how this works here. Let me do a restart. All right, so you can see it's logging in the user without bringing up the uh, password box. All right, so we're back to our desktop, logged in without having to uh, put in the password. So like I was saying, if you wanted to use another account, you'd have to click on start and then either log this guy off or sign him out or click on another user to log him in or her in, but then there's also keep this guy logged in as well. So if you want to change it back, just go back and do the search for N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z again. And you'll notice if you need to, if you want to click another name on here or go back to it, you need to check this box again. Then you could go back to this guy. It'll Because once you uncheck this box, you're not going to be able to do anything for the other users, so you can't uh, apparently uncheck this box for more than one user at a time. So just check the box, and that'll apply it for to everybody here. And then if you want to switch it to a different user, you could select this user, and then uncheck the box, and you'll notice you can't you can't select a different one. So it's only one at a time type of deal, which makes sense because otherwise it wouldn't know which computer actually which user to log in when you use this option. So like I said, just check that box and you'll be back to normal. And then if you want to go back to your settings and accounts, sign-in options, then you can turn on the uh, hello sign-in for the computer again, and you'll be back to normal. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.